In this video, I'm gonna to reveal to you the five fat loss secrets that if you follow them, you're gonna get awesome results. Hey there, Hunter Grindle here from Hybrid Fitness, and thank you so much for hopping on today. Today, I'm gonna to reveal to you those five fat loss secrets that if you follow them and you do them consistently, day after day, you're gonna see some amazing progress no matter what your goal is. Now, in any goal that you have, there's three things that you really wanna focus on, and when I say goal, I mean health and fitness goal for your health, and that number one is something with exercise is probably gonna be involved in there. Two is nutrition, so how you eat, how often you eat, different things like that, and three, mindset. So what today's video is gonna go over is how we can break down those three categories and get the best activities you can do every day so that you get the best bang for your buck. So without further ado, here are the five secrets. Secret number one, and the first secret is exercise. And it's no secret, right, that exercise, you're gonna need it to live the best life that you can and to get the results that you want. However, there's lots of different sort of intensities of exercise that people do. Some people consider exercise for them, going on a walk for 30 minutes, while other people would consider that a warm up and they'd say, lifting heavy weights over my head for an hour is exercise. So what should you be doing? So what I recommend for you to get the best bang for your buck is to work out five to six days a week, alternating between strength training, meaning you're lifting some resistance, whether it's dumbbells, it's bands, it's barbells, and alternating that with more body weight and cardiovascular movements, so that one, you're, you're supporting your muscle mass that you already have, two, you're allowing your body to build new muscle mass, which will, of course, increase your metabolism, you'll burn more calories at rest, and three, you're gonna also be improving your heart health and your cardiovascular health, which when those two things are combined, you're gonna feel the best, you're gonna look the best, and you're gonna overall be happier. Secret number two is non-workout exercise, right? So we've got that workout we're getting in five to six days a week, but now how can we get a little bit of extra in there? And so what I recommend is if you're going to the grocery store, and of course it's not winter like it is right now and there's tons of snow and it's freezing, I would say park as far as you can in the parking lot away from the store or the grocery store or whatever. So you kind of create a little walk for yourself. Another idea is uh, if you live in a building that has an elevator, um, but there's also stairs to instead of taking the elevator up, take the stairs and, and believe it or not, that will add up over time. And a good way of tracking this, I'm sure a lot of you have this already, is some sort of pedometer or uh, like a Fitbit or even your Apple phone can do it sometimes. It will keep track of how many steps you have. And if you actually look at the difference over a month's time, a year's time, it changes so much. It makes a huge difference. So don't underestimate the non-workout exercise. That's tip number two. Tip number three, you wanna eat more protein. And how much protein exactly? We'll use this as a gauge. If you're doing that strength training like we talked about, I would recommend eating 0.75 grams to one gram per pound of body weight that you have. And why is protein so great? Because there's some people who say it's awesome and other people on this side of the shoulder say it's not. So protein is great because one, it's gonna help your body repair broken down muscle and build it up bigger and stronger. And ladies, don't worry, you're not gonna get big and bulky, but what this muscle will do is it will look toned, it will look defined to a point where you're just gonna be happy. You know, I know a lot of you are worried about, you know, skin down here or around your hips and, and tightening up the muscles will help tighten and tone everything. But again, don't worry about getting huge and big and bulky with veins popping out and all that good stuff. So protein, when you digest it, it actually takes a lot of energy to break it down versus if you look at carbohydrates or fats, it doesn't take as much energy. So that means just by the fact of eating protein, your body's gonna burn more calories and it is a significant amount. It's almost 30% difference in efficiency. So over time, eating more protein is gonna do a lot of great things for you. And the last thing with protein is just filling. So it's gonna suppress your appetite and you're not gonna be craving things as much throughout the day. Secret number four is the cheat meal is not gonna kill you. It's the momentum and the potential negative snowball effect after that will. So we all are allowed to have cheat meals, right? We, we can go out and have what we want but very often it's not that cheat meal that's going to cause you to gain weight. If 
one meal ever causes you to gain weight, unless it's a ridiculous amount, like just so far beyond like reason, then yes, maybe it will over time, but it's more of that snowball effect. And I see it so often, you know, people will come to me and they'll be like, Hunter, like I had this cheat meal um, and look, and from there I beat myself up and then like the next three days I just went off the ledge, right? And it's not the cheat meal. It's that momentum, that negative snowball effect after. So allow yourself to have that cheat meal, enjoy it for what it is, and then make sure you get back on track after and continue to, to eat your protein, right? To get your exercise going and all those things will come together to help you see constant progress without depriving yourself. So that is cheat secret number four. And finally, secret number five is you wanna remind yourself of your goals often and you want to make sure that those goals are very very clear because here's the thing right motivation is huge and sometimes it's hard to keep it going and very often the main reason why we lose motivation is because we lose clear focus of what we truly want and what's really important when setting your goals is to set an end date when is that going to happen by i want you to talk about your goal in the present tense so if i say i want to lose 20 pounds, instead you'd be like, I weigh 140 pounds today. You know, so talk in the present tense versus like it's something in the future because if you're constantly reminding yourself of a goal that's in the future, then it'll almost seem like you're always going for it. Whereas if you kind of accept that, hey, I'm there right now, it kind of, it, that's just kind of how goals work, right? Set that end date, talk in the present tense and do it often and get a clear image in your mind and get excited about it. You know, it's kind of a skill to, that you'll, that you'll want to learn to just get excited about nothing, even though it is your goal. It makes a big difference. And when you feel that emotional sort of energy coming from you, it just motivates you for the day. It gets you going and it's going to help you take these other four secrets consistently over and over again. So those are your five secrets. Now look, I know that these may not be secrets to you. I'm sure you knew a lot of these already right? Um, and that's kind of the truth is there's not any crazy secret sauce out there, but if you follow the things that are proven and you just do them consistently, you're going to get results that you want. So sorry if those weren't super new to you, but that's what it's going to take. So, hey, if you like this video, please hit the like button below. And also, if you want to see more videos we got coming out, hit the subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you next time.